Hey folks, welcome to B5Brex, hope you're all well. In today's video, it's my rebuild of the Palace Cinema Modular, which I've had for years, but now it's time for renovation as the movie industry has collapsed. <laughs> and I've gone for an Italian pizzeria restaurant with a fully detailed interior, and I'll move on to that interior shortly. But first, I'll show you what I wanted to achieve with this build, we'll check out the exterior changes, and then we'll take a look at each floor inside and the ground floor exterior. I still wanted to keep this as a corner building, I think it works really well as one, especially with its sort of triangular shape, and I like its older architectural style. Obviously, the original was based on the Chinese theatre in LA, but it's not overtly oriental in style, and when you remove a few things, it actually has more of an art deco and even a neoclassical look, and I want to keep that kind of character of the building. So here we are in this end of the Lego building room and this is the shell of the building as I've now removed the interior to be reused later. And I'm going to keep this roof design but flip this around. For the middle area I don't want that tall red tile section as I'm going to use it for signage and I'll reuse this old palace cinema sign for a future build as well. I've made a sign for the top using just the red and white dots pieces, and it looks pretty cool, it'll go here. The door has easier access now, and I'll put a sign on top of it. And I'm going to take out all these windows and reuse them, and remove those black pieces. And this side section will be opened out with no windows. So yeah, it's quite a transformation. You might notice that I also used a tan coloured base plate rather than the red one. And the biggest addition, I think, is overall just the colours. I've added red, white and green awnings over the windows. Up top, I've made the pizza sign more curved. I really like the look of this. And the gold palm tree pieces are a nice touch as well. And so that roof has been turned around to give me a nice gap along the edge for the plants and it gives more of a slope as well. I don't have a staircase to the roof anymore so I've removed the hatch and built a cluster of aircon vents and extractor fans for the pizza oven. Now it's time to remove the rooftop piece and you can see all the details a bit closer there. I've sparingly added some gold pieces throughout the build and bulked up the foliage on the rooftop. The first floor is the kitchen area now which used to be where the cinema screen was. The most substantial thing, I suppose, is the main pizza oven here, with the main extractor above it. There's shelving as well in the corner, and this brick-built fridge with some cheese on top. There's various shelves with bits and bobs on it, and this main area in the middle is the prep area, where this chef is stretching out a pizza base, and in the corner is another oven and extractor above. We've got another brick built fridge in the corner which is a different design to the other one and I've put a large sink and dishwasher in here as well. In fact there's loads of other wee details in here. But let's lift this off and again I've added more gold pieces like the frogs as details instead of the black bars and there's a red, white and green theme still and this is where the palace cinema sign kind of obscured the building a wee bit as it sat along the side here. Now, the ground floor, this was the ticket office and the main foyer, and the staircase was great, so I kept the original one, I just kept it in the same space as well, as it works better in that corner. There's a mix of tables for two, and larger tables for bigger parties, and the waitress there with a dessert. And at the back is a waiter station with a dispenser for sauces, and there's some wall art here in purple dots pieces. I made a heart shaped mosaic as a bit of a commercial art for the interior. I love it, I really like the dot sets and the pieces and it was nice to include it in the build. And over here is the till and a very small bar area. Out here you can see this area a bit better and you can see as well I pinched that table from the central perk set and I used the red cinema seating as well. I love this sort of al fresco seating. Around here is a table for two, and you can see I've used the city pizza 
stickers that came with one of the recent stickers packs is quite a nice touch, but my favourite part is the seating area. I like the Italian flag awning and the brown wooden slopes, it just generally is appealing to me. And because there's no bulky cinema sign, you can get easier access to the front door and actually open them easily, and this corner section looks great, that sign really finishes off the look. The original cinema set was quite an early modular and the interiors were always sparse in those days and I think I've added a fair bit of decent playable interior space. The kids liked walking the staff up and down the stairs and playing with the chefs the most. And you know, we did enjoy the cinema as a set for a long time, I've had it for years, but I think a new lease of life for the building as an Italian restaurant was worth the change, and I've kept the bulk of the building intact, so I'm quite happy with the way it turned out. It's certainly a very colourful new look, and it's going to look great on my new display area. And as I was saying, I will be using the cinema pieces for a new cinema mock, which incorporates pieces from the recent Friends cinema, as well, so keep an eye out for that video when it comes. I'd love to know if you've done anything similar, are you a fan of the palace cinema way too much to ever change it, or do you agree with me that it's actually one of the most ideal candidates of all the modulars for a mock? Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks so much for watching until the end, and if you enjoyed this video, don't feel obliged to subscribe. If you did enjoy it, just leave me a like and a comment if you have the time. But for more content like this, then if you do subscribe to the channel and click the notifications bell icon, you can stay up to date with all my videos with mocks, money saving tips and my micro Gotham City updates too. And whilst you're here, why not check out some of my other videos too and I'll catch you next time. Bye!